Spanish conservative leader Alberto Núñez Feiju holds a rally in Madrid ahead of key debates and a vote in Congress. Lawmakers will begin debating Alberto Núñez Feiju's bid to become Spain's next prime minister a day before an inauguration vote the right-wing opposition leader is almost certain to lose. Without the necessary support to obtain 176 votes in the 350-seat parliament, Feiju is likely to use the opportunity to attack Pedro Sánchez's efforts to stay on as premier by courting a hardline Catalan separatist party cast in the role of kingmaker. A month after Spain's inconclusive July election, King Felipe VI tasked Feiju with forming a new government ahead of an investiture vote on September 27. Although he has garnered the support of the far-right Vox plus a handful of other seats, Feiju has found himself four seats short, with regional parties rejecting any alliance that would include Vox over its hardline opposition to Spain's system of devolved regional politics. If I accepted the demands of regional parties, I could be prime minister next week. But I don't intend to give in to blackmail, Feiju said, acknowledging he faced almost certain defeat in Wednesday's vote. I will not rule at any price. If he fails, he will then face a second vote on Friday when he will need a simple majority of more votes in favor than against. If Sanchez is unable to pass an investiture vote within two months of vote, Spain will face new elections.